Should the room steward clean or refresh a room more than once a day? Should you play your own music in public spaces on the cruise? Should cruise lines replace old nautical terms with more customer-friendly ones? Should you hide rubber duckies on a cruise ship? We'll debate two of these topics tonight on Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, episode 35. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca, and this is Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, episode 35, Cruise Wars, where we go to war over the hottest topics in cruising. Jenny, are you ready to throw down in Funky Town? I am ready. All right, if you're new here, this is how it works. We take the four topics that we told you, we put them in this bowl right here, we mix them up, and then we pull out two topics and we argue about them. We debate them. I'm arguing tonight, girl. What? We decide who's going to argue for the topic or who's going to argue against the topic by the roll of the 20-sided die. All right, Jenny, let's fold up our topics and put them in the bowl. Okay. Are you ready to get it on? Cruise Wars. Always Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars 35. 35. I didn't make the bowl. No, you didn't. Come on. Okay. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Four topics in the bowl. We're going to give it a mix. First topic. What's it gonna be? Should the room steward clean or refresh your room more than once a day? Hmm, that's an interesting one. I'm gonna use little blue here. Uh, if the die shows a one through 10, I'm going to argue that yes, they should refresh your room more than once. If it shows 11 through 20, I will be arguing they should not. 18, they should not. Okay. All right, we have the official La Lita Loca timer. You can get one at your local Apple store. Jenny, will you man the timer or will you woe man the timer? I'll take care of the timer. How about that? Thank you so much. Okay, go. I'm going? Go. No, the room steward should not clean the room more than once a day. Uh, look, do you want these guys to work 24 hours a day? It is ridiculous. Uh, when you go to the hotel, do they clean your room twice a day? Hey, when you were a kid, did your mom make your bed twice a day? No. You don't make your bed twice at home. You don't get your bed made twice in the hotel. Why are you so hoity-toity that you think you should get your bed made twice on the cruise ship? How about this? How about don't mess your room up in the middle of the day? How about you sleep in your bed, you go out in the morning to get some breakfast, some brunch, and then when you come back, your room is all made up. That's the way life should be. You make it up in the morning, you mess it up in the night, and, and you don't have these people working 24 hours a day. Look, I know you paid your money, but it's ridiculous to think that somebody should pick up after you 24 hours a day just because you're on vacation. Clean the room once, don't mess it up, and don't be a hoity-toity jerk trying to get your room made up. Your time is up. Hashtag. Tony, it's done. Don't be hoity-toity. No more talking. Out of you. How dare you. Let me just say that. You didn't really give me a good indication that my time had started. It was some mamby-pamby go. All right. Let me... Come on. Let's do this. Admit that you're wrong. Never. That's true. <laughs> All right, Jenny. You will be telling me uh, and the people out there why the room steward should refresh your room or clean your room more than one time a day. Are you ready? I'm ready. You have one minute. On, see how you see how I do this for you? This yeah. is this is the way it should be done. You have one minute on the clock. Okay. Your time starts now. Thank you. Okay, so absolutely, you said not to use the I paid my money, but you know what? I paid my money. If I want my room to be cleaned twice a day, then that's what I want. They you know, they give you the choice, number one. And you know what? I like when I come in in the evening and my bed is pulled down and it's just ready for me to lay down in. Absolutely should have your cabin steward do that for you. Why not make it up in the morning after you go out and you go to the port or you go around the ship if it's a sea day. And then you know what? When you come back to the room in the evening, your room is pulled down, your nice towel animal is there, or if you're on other cruise lines, you know, they have chocolates that are left on your nightstand. Absolutely. If it is offered to you, take advantage of it. It's part of your cruise ship payment. Yes, take advantage of the twice a day. 
Your time is up, Jim. Your time is up. Obviously, the timer went off. I know how to stop talking after the alarm goes off. I didn't even know I had started. <laughs> Are you ready for a rebuttal? Yes. Okay, go. Oh, I paid my money. I paid my money. I paid my... Yeah, look. It's a tired argument, Jenny. I don't even know who came up with that argument. It's so tired. Don't look at me. I, I know you paid your money, but you know what? You paid your money, that means you could eat 15 entrees, you could eat at the Lido Buffet, you could eat 27 hamburgers, but you're not gonna do that. Just because you paid for it doesn't mean that you have to do it. It's ridiculous. Have some courtesy for your fellow man. It, you know, does vacation all the, all of a sudden make you the the Duchess of Dukeville? Is that or Dutyville? That's what it seems like because it's a crappy, snotty way to go to say, hey, look, man, I know you worked at eight o'clock in the morning to clean my room, but I want you to come back at eight o'clock and clean my room. I don't care if you got anything going on. You're here to serve me. I pay my pittance, my added on daily gratuity, and I'm gonna get the most out of it. I pay, you barely even pay your money with that added. <laughs> okay. The time is up, he has to stop talking. Look, we're not- Cause we're, all I hear is wah, wah, wah. How dare you? How dare you? We're not gonna settle this here. We are not. Uh, leave a comment below. Should you should the room steward uh, clean your room more than once, or uh, should it just be once a day? Uh, hashtag Team Tony. Okay, we're not gonna even start that. This I don't even have to say hashtag Team Jenny because it just happens. I know where you live. <laughs> All right, let's move on to topic number two. Get it out of the bowl, All girl. Right, let's do this. All right, topic number two is, should you play your own music in public spaces on the cruise? One through 10 will be a yes, you should, and 11 through 20 will be a no, you should not. Okay, let me roll the gold light up. 19. You know you should not. Okay. All right, Jenny. Just so it's proper, just so you get the full advantage of your time, let me tell you, you've got one minute on the clock. Okay. Your time starts now. Thank you. No, you should not play your music on in public spaces on the cruise ship. Everybody else is on vacation. Just because you're on vacation, you should not disturb other people that are trying to read a book, or they're just trying to relax and lay out in the sun, or they're just trying to have a conversation with the person next to them. There's nothing like trying to have a conversation with somebody next to you and you can't even hear them because of your loud music. Guess what? The Lido decks, all where the parties are on the cruise ship, the music is going anyway. So who wants to hear another loud music right next to you? It's very disturbing. You should have some respect. That's what you have a cabin for. Go back to your cabin and play the music that you want to hear. And you know what? It's just rude. It's rude, rude, rude. Do not play your music in the public spaces. Nobody wants to hear Barbara Streisand or whoever you're playing or Tone Loke. Come on. How far over are you going to go exactly? I mean, I could keep talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> your time is up, Jenny. All right, Tony. Yes. Are you ready to yes. say why you should play your music? Yes. In public spaces. Yes. All right, go. I paid my money. Are you done? No, I'm not done. Oh, okay. Uh, don't play my music so that you can have your conversation. Look, I've heard voices similar to yours cutting through the freaking noise of the engine of the cruise ship. Now you're mad at me because I got my little two volt Bluetooth speaker so I can hear a little Jimmy Buffett while I'm eating my cheeseburger on the Lido deck. There's kids splashing. There's women cackling. There's men uh, being respectful because that's what men do. And you're telling me I can't listen to a little cheeseburger in Paris. How 
dare you? I paid my money. I'm not bothering anybody. That you know, how about you touch your nose? How about you get out of my business? And maybe you could use a little bit of an inside voice when you're talking in the main dining room. I don't give a, a boo-hoo about your sister Sally's husband troubles and you're five tables away. I I mean okay. <laughs> Would you like to rebut that Abs most excellent argument. <laughs> Absolutely. Jenny, one minute on the clock. Yeah, time starts now. So just because you're having a cheeseburger and you want to listen to Jimmy Buffett doesn't mean that you're going to be blasting your radio. You know what? A two-volt Bluetooth, that carries a lot of noise. And you know what? You're on a cruise ship. I want to hear the kids <sighs> splashing and running, and I want to be able to talk to whoever I'm talking to to learn to get to know them and build a friendship with the people on the cruise ship. If I'm listening to your music, I can't listen to who's talking to me ne next to me. Come on. It's rude. I want to listen to the cruise director because you know what? You may be up there and you may win the hairiest man chest contest that they do or a contest. Ridiculous. Or guess what? I can even Touch. miss... Missing your if I nose. won a free cruise because of your loud music. And then guess what? We have almost 2,000 people on the ship. What if all 2,000 of them decide to play their own music? Oh my goodness, could you imagine the headache? That's why your I bring Your time Tylenol. is up, Jenny. Your time is up. Look. Look. Hashtag touch your nose. Mind your business, Jenny. We're not going to settle this here. We're not. What do you think? Should you play your music in public spaces on a cruise ship? Leave a comment below. All right, folks, that is the end of the debate section. We are going to take a quick break. Stay tuned for part two where we tell you exactly, uh, exactly how we feel about these topics. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we just want to take a moment to tell you about how you can become a cruise warrior. Would you like to be acknowledged in one of these Cruise Wars episodes? Become a cruise warrior over at Patreon slash La Lita Loca, and uh, you can get your Cruise Wars on. Cruise Wars! All right, Jenny, now on to how we actually feel about these topics. Okay. What were the questions? The first one. Should the room steward clean or refresh your room more than once a day? Um, so I'm kind of iffy on this. If it's often, I'm, I may take advantage of it. Um, you know, you're on vacation. You don't really want to be doing your own stuff anyway. But I'm good with just one time a day. You know, because I want if we want to go lay down or something like that, I don't like to be disturbed in the evening. I like the two times a day. Uh, I wish the person didn't have to work around the clock to do that. Maybe they get a big break of time in the middle of the day, but I think I would be bummed out working in the morning and working in the evening. Mm -hmm. It would almost be cool if you had a morning room steward and an evening room steward. I don't know if maybe they just can't do that people-wise, but um, I don't know. I do like it. I, I like being able to take a nap, mess up the bed, and then come to a fresh bed at night. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little hoity-toity, I guess. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> All right. And the second and the last topic for Cruise Wars 35. Cruise Wars 35. Is should you play your own music in the public spaces on the cruise? Um, so if it's on the Lido, I'm kind of leaning towards not because it's so loud anyway. Um, and it's just so obnoxious. You know, like the the loud music anyway, but like if you're in the front and, um, you know, like there's nobody around on a deck or something, I think it's nice to just chill out. Or if you're on your own balcony, well, balcony is really not like a public space, no, no. but you know, like if, I don't know. Yeah. So for me, if your music isn't like louder than the conversation or louder than the other ambient noise, I say do it. I mean, it's loud everywhere anyways. Uh, I think as long as your music's not profane, right? Like, so you're not offending somebody that may not like curse words. You know, right. we, we live in a, we live in that society. Um, yeah. So I mean, I, I say That's play. That's a good point. I say play a little music as long as it's not disruptive. Uh, enjoy it, but y you know where the line is. If if you can see that your music's louder and people can't talk, then you shouldn't do it. Well, I mean, some people know. 
you know, some people know how loud it is, but some people just don't care. Well, um, that could be true too. You know, so my, you know, my thing is I'm a loud talker. You are a loud So, talker. I mean, sometimes I talk probably louder than some music that's playing. That's right. So, <laughs> so just don't play music any louder than Jenny talks. It gives you a lot of leeway. <laughs> All right, guys. That's how we actually felt about the topics. Uh, do you like this content? Slap a like on it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, be on the lookout for Cruise Wars. Two episodes a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. Cruise Wars right into your face. Uh, my name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.